A mother of a child with special needs is now taking action against the Clark County School District, and today she filed a federal lawsuit alleging some major failures. And now the 8 News Now I team has also uncovered other failures at the state level. The mom first spoke with Vanessa Murphy, who has more on what she's learned. Courtney Larson says her son who has autism came home from school with injuries like this one under his eye. But he couldn't express what happened because at the time he was three years old and nonverbal. She tells the 8 News Now I team she eventually received a call from the Sandra Thompson Elementary School principal about allegations against teacher Melissa Olcheski. She hurt my son. Larson filed this federal lawsuit Wednesday against Olcheski, the Clark County School District, and the school principal, alleged negligence, discrimination, and violation of the Disabilities Act, and more. Larson spoke with the I-team via Zoom from Florida, where she's relocated. The system completely failed uh, me as a mother, my son as, as a child with, uh, with a disability. Attorney Khaldun Baghdadi is representing Larson. I think one, one real important issue here is that the laws that are on the books are there to protect people, but they can't protect people if they're not followed. According to the lawsuit, school leaders received reports of Olcheski's ongoing mistreatment of students with disabilities, but failed to document and investigate the allegations and failed to notify the Nevada Department of Education. The I-team obtained a recording of an initial phone call by school principal Sean Holland. Another employee saw the teacher hit the three-year-old kid. The kid's nonverbal. Has the parent been notified? No. Oh, should I also call CPS? I think that's what EMR told me. Uh, yes. Or, oh. Yeah, I don't, I, it should be in your crisis plan, but yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good awesome. question. That's a good point. This is police body camera video of a school employee being interviewed about Olcheski's treatment of multiple students. Slap on the arm for sure. And how many times? I've seen it. One slap on the arm and then the finger slapping. Right here, so oh, pulling her pull, down. Pull her down. Yeah, pulling her down into the seat while screaming, screaming in her face, sit down. And then Olcheski is interviewed by police. Have you ever flicked a student towards the hands, to the arm, fingers? We, yeah, that, I think that tapping might have, you know, it, if I were doing it, I don't remember flicking. Okay. Good. But I say tapping, tapping is what I do. Let's say one is okay. This, and then let's say ten is an actual like you oh, just went yeah. all out. I would say between three or five is the most I've ever felt a force from me. The officer indicates Olcheski would be put on paid home duty. The I team asked CCSD for a comment about the lawsuit and her dates of employment. A spokesperson said the district doesn't comment on pending litigation. Olcheski was charged eight months later with six counts of child abuse. A criminal complaint states there were six victims ages three and four. Court records show she agreed to impulse control counseling and community service, which resulted in a misdemeanor conviction of disorderly conduct made me just lose all faith and trust in the, not only the justice system, but the school system, and I, and I shouldn't feel like that. The 8 News Now I team reached out to the attorney who represented Olcheski in the criminal case. He said he has no comment. Vanessa Murphy, Live Local Now. The 8 News Now I team also learned that Olcheski still has a teaching license in our state.